This tutorial will show how easy it is to perform an analysis of stage construction using the nonlinear capabilities of SAP 2000. We start with a simple three-story two-bay frame where each story will represent a stage of construction. We will remove the center first floor column in order to create a transfer girder. This girder will be susceptible to stage construction because it carries gravity loads from the floors above. The key to doing stage construction in SAP 2000 is to identify each stage as a group. In this case, each story or stage will be represented by a group. Repeat this process for each story, selecting and then assigning the objects to a new group. Next, we define the static load pattern. For this example, we will use only the self-weight dead load. Next, go to the define load cases command. We will delete the predefined molo case as we will not be doing any dynamic analysis. To the dead load case, we will add an additional case for the stage construction. Name the new case staged con. And select the nonlinear stage construction option under the analysis type. We will not have any geometric nonlinearities in this model. And make sure that the zero initial conditions is selected. Add three stages under stage definition. Highlight Stage 1, and under the Data for Stage 1 area, click Add Structure in the Operation drop-down list. Click Story 1 in the Object Name list, and then hit the Add button. Go back to the Operation list and click Load Objects if added, Story 1 in Object Name, Load Pattern in Type, and Dead under the Name with a Scale Factor of 1. Click the Add button to add this to the list. This tells the program to first add the structure and then the loads for the first stage. We repeat this process for the other two stages. Adding the structure and then the loads. Click on the Modify Show button for the results saved and select the End of Each Stage option. We now have a linear static dead load case and a nonlinear case representing the stage construction of the three stories. We are now ready to run the analysis. However, first we will change the 3D view to an elevation view to match the right window. Click the Run Analysis button, and after the analysis, the dead load deform shape is displayed in the left window. In the right window, we will display the deform shape from the staged analysis cases. We select the Stage Con case and Step 1, which is at the end of Stage 1. Verify that the scale factor is set to 300 to match the scale on the left. Add the next story with Step 2. And then the top story with Step 3.
A right click on the middle joint for the linear case shows a displacement of about 0.2 inches. While at the same location in the nonlinear stage analysis gives a result of almost 0.4 inches, nearly double. Next, change the left window to show the moment diagrams for the linear dead load case. In the right window, we will again show the results for the stage construction case, starting with step one. We can toggle up through the steps to see how the moment changes. At step three, the last step, the moment in the transfer girder jumps to 89.8 .8 kip inches, more than double that of the linear analysis where the entire structure works together to span between the columns. This concludes this tutorial.